My name is Private Carly Callaghan and I'm a preventive medicine technician. My name is Private Laura Freeman. I'm in preventative medicine and I'm a technician. Preventative medicine is a very important role in the Army. It allows us to deploy to different areas and reduce the impact that certain dangers have on us. They're all of our job for field exercises. We're usually citing the place where people would be um, going to set up their tents, things like that. So we'd need to sort out that the environment's safe for them to set up there. They're not in like a creek or anything like that. Um, we'd look around areas to see if there's any vectors around. So things like mosquitoes, we want to look that they're away from water sources, things like that. Um, also when they're siting their sanitation as well, we need them to be away from uh, latrines, toilets, that kind of stuff. Preventive medicine technicians are not always just deployed uh, in army situations. We are also very active in things like tsunamis and aid situations where we help get communities back on their feet. To become a preventive medicine technician, you first have to complete your three months basic training at Kapuka. Then after this, you'll go down to Latchford, which is in Victoria, and complete a two-month basic employment skills uh, training. And once this is completed, you will have a range of other courses, but they will occur without your throughout your first year of training. And this involves things like driver's courses to make sure you're called on certain vehicles and a vector-borne diseases course. Most of our job is outfield. We don't actually do much on a barracks role. We just make sure that everything's ready to go on that kind of thing. Um, things like natural disasters and stuff like that, we're always first hand to be called out to go and do that kind of thing. I chose to be a preventive medicine technician because I was really interested in science and with the water testing and determining different types of mosquitoes and diseases, it really appealed to me. The Army lifestyle is very different from being at home, I think. It's always challenging, but I think the mates that you make around here are just something else. I joined the Army as part of the 12-month trial program, and I'm still here after a year. I really love it. It was just a great opportunity to try a career, to see if I would be suited to that, and I've never looked back. I think the most challenging thing I've done was probably just the initial training at Kapuka. That's the hardest thing that we'll probably do for starters. Being a female in the Army hasn't really affected me that much. You still get treated with the same respect as everyone else, especially in my trade where there is actually probably equal amount of females as there are males. And so, yeah, it's a great working environment and I love it. I think females can do the Army just as well as the boys can. Um, we go through the same training, we do the same job. We've got the same opportunities that they do as well. It's just things like soldierly qualities, all of that gets you through. Joining the Army has been a great experience for me. I have just grown in confidence and it's just helped me get out and see the world a bit more. The travelling is also a really great part of the Army and just having your mates with you is definitely my favourite part. <laughs>